Komla is a Bengali word for orange, both the fruit and the color. And Komla bhog is a Bengali sweet with the flavor and the color of an orange. It's made with chana and orange extract, and it's a variation of the more famous Bengali sweet, the roshogolla. And here's a recipe that we used to make this traditional komla bhog. To make eight komla bhogs, we'll need chana from a quart of milk, either regular or 2% milk, one and a half cups of sugar, another teaspoonful of sugar, which will be used separately, one teaspoon of shuji, also known as cream of wheat, an eighth of a teaspoon of red food color, a quarter teaspoon of yellow food color, and a quarter teaspoon of orange extract. A recipe has four basic steps. First, we knead the chana with the shuji and add a little bit of sugar to make the dough smooth. Then we form about one and a half inch diameter balls of dough. Next, we make the sugar syrup. And finally, we'll boil the balls of chana in the boiling syrup to make the komla bhog. Procedure. Put the chana on a smooth surface. We made our chana from lactose-free 2% milk. Add one level teaspoon of sugar. Add one and a half level teaspoons of shuji. And be careful not to exceed this amount or else the komla bhog might become tough and chewy. Add an eighth teaspoon of red food coloring. Add a quarter teaspoon of yellow food coloring. Add a quarter teaspoon of orange extract. Mix it together. And then knead the dough until the color is a uniform orange. We use the palm of our hand to make the dough smooth. Roll the dough into one long piece, and then divide it into eight equal parts. Roll each of these parts into a round ball. And repeat this process with all the dough to make eight of these balls. Cover them with a wet cloth and set them aside. For the syrup, add one and a half cups of sugar to a pan. Add four and a half cups of water to the sugar. Turn on the heat. Stir till the sugar dissolves. Continue heating until the syrup starts boiling. A 
and to the syrup you'll add the balls of chana. Cover the pan but keep an eye on it because the syrup might overflow. The balls will puff up as they're boiled. Make sure you flip them over occasionally. Heat for 30 minutes. The syrup level should be high enough so that the gomla bhogs don't touch the bottom of the pan. But if the syrup level is too high, then boil the syrup separately to concentrate it. Turn off the stove. Allow everything to cool. Leave them overnight for the sugar to permeate the chana. And this completes the komla bhog preparation. It takes about an hour and a half and serves two to four people. And you can serve the komla bhog either chilled or at room temperature.